Avid Sleep Train Arena and Steve, while the Kings are much more talented this year, they showed us tonight they got a long ways to go yet, don't they? Well, the last few fans are trickling out, and uh, there's some disappointment. It is a loss after all, but you know, there have been a lot of knocks on this arena over the years. No one's ever complained about the crowd, though, and tonight they were out in full force. The old building can still house a rowdy crowd. On this final home opener at Sleep Train, 30 year fans Harvey and Elise Cantor rang their cowbell with delight. I hope that the new facility, which is going to be great, obviously, I hope it's as noisy because it's fun. And it's fun here because we know so many people now. This first game of the farewell season gave fans a first look at the stars of this year's Kings, where Jean Rondo, the newest face. And the crowd also cheered Sacramento's hometown heroes, recognized at center court. Anthony Sadler and Spencer Stone, still recovering from his midtown stabbing, spoke briefly to reporters. How's the recovery going? It's going well, yeah. Still feel like crap, but every day I get a little better. So. High tech gadgets gave fans a glimpse of what this Silicon Valley ownership group has planned for the future from robot security guards to virtual reality courtside seats. I am pretty close, and everyone's really big. Oh. Then there was the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Jamie Foxx gave Sacramento a shout out. My parents go follow We followed him today, and his story was so compelling. Celebrity and celebration. Sleep Train Arena, outdated, but not quite done. And a live close up look at these security guard robots. You could be seeing these more often at the new arena. The first game for this old arena season is a loss, but uh, the Kings have a chance to get in that win column on Friday night against the Lakers. All right, Steve, thanks so much. Live for us tonight at Sleep Train.